What's up guys and finally welcome back to another episode of Showcase Saturdays. Uh, so in my channel update video and 500 sub thank you, I mentioned that, you know, to catch up with all of the, you know, all of the figures I've made so far this year, I'm going to be doing them in group reviews or showcases. So today, as you may have guessed by my shirt, uh, we're going to be taking a look at all the Star Wars figures that I've made so far since my last showcase episode. So we're going to be taking a look at my uh, second Django Fett, so the updated version with Leonardo or Giovanni Sculpt. Uh, we are also going to be taking a look at... <laughs> what else have I actually made? One second. Uh, oh, Captain Cardinal. We're going to be taking a look at him as well. And there is a third one. Um, damn. <laughs> oh, how could I forget? Kylo Ren. We're gonna be taking a look at him as well. Um, I'm really excited to, sh you know, go through the showcase. I mean, unfortunately, there's not a lot of like playable features on all of these figures, but I mean, they're all jam-packed with details. And yeah. Anyways, let's get started. Hope you guys enjoy the video. So first up, we're going to start with the oldest figure of the lot, which I think I posted in about March, April, somewhere around there, towards the beginning of the year. Uh, still very much in the you know Star Wars hype. You know, after The Force Awakens, I'm sure you guys remember I posted a ton of Star Wars figures. Uh, Jango Fett was one of them because uh, what I was doing was making a villain from each film, and I think I pretty much did almost all the films. Uh, but I really wasn't that happy with my Django. I thought my Boba was a massive improvement on the Mandalorian armor. And then, subsequent to my Boba, uh, Leonardo, or Giovanni from Flickr, released his uh, Boba Fett set, uh, which is absolutely fantastic, and which is what I used as a base for this figure. So, as you can see, it's pretty much standard, uh, very similar to my prototype Boba Fett figure. Uh, however, I did make a few adjustments. So on the side of his leg there, you can see that there is a holster, uh, which Django has, uh, which does wrap around to the back. Uh, on the front, I did remove the pockets as well and also sculpt some of the leg armor pieces that Django has. And aside from that, I think this set is pretty much uh, just the standard. You know, um, I just painted it up using my Sideshow Collectibles Django Fed figure as reference, uh, which is obviously very helpful. And then I did kit him out with some area light uh, West Star Blasters. I'm not sure exactly what these blasters are called. But yeah, this is a, a really cool figure. I'm really glad I got a chance to update my Django. Uh, I think this version is a lot better than the previous version. Um, and I think I still have one or two of these sets left. I was thinking about using the one to make, you know, an animated Boba Fett, uh, based off of how Boba Fett appeared in that holiday special back in the 80s, I think it was. Um, I'm also keen to redo my Boba Fett, so let me, down in, let me know down in the comments what you think I should do with these sets. Should I make an animated Boba Fett? Should I make a second version of my other Boba Fett? Should I do both? Should I just leave <laughs> the Mandalorians alone? Give me your thoughts down below. And I think that's about it for this this figure. Let's move on to the next one. So the second figure we're going to be taking a look at today is my custom Captain Cardinal figure. So this figure is actually based off a character which appeared in the Phasma novel, uh, which was recently released, and is basically, you know, like Captain Phasma, he is a, uh, you know, a stormtrooper commander within the First Order, uh, quite a high-ranking officer uh, who is distinct and is known uh, by his red armor. So I didn't, actually, I haven't actually read the book. Uh, I was browsing Instagram the one day and I saw an art piece by Venomous, incredibly talented guy. Uh, he had a piece with Phasma and uh, Cardinal, like you know, fighting back to back, and you know the red armor really like stood out for me. So the second I saw that picture, I was like. I need to make this figure. So basically what I did was I used Andrew VXTC's uh, First Auto Stormtrooper kit as a base. Uh, I slightly smoothed out the helmet a bit and not much sculpting was actually done on this figure. Uh, I just topped it off with some gloves from uh, G-Bricks, uh, tiny tactical glove tops, a Brick Arms FO E11C blaster and a custom 
uh, shawl or cape or whatever you want to call it, uh, which is made out of real fabric. I was going to do a sculpted cape like I did for my custom Captain Phasma figure, but it does uh, very much limit the movement of the figure. Uh, and also, this was sort of a pretext or an experiment, I should say, with fabrics. Again, I used to use them a lot a long time ago, um, but I really wanted to use fabrics on the next figure. So, without further ado, let's get on to that one. And our final figure for this showcase is going to be my custom Kylo Ren. So ever since this character was first shown off in the trailers as well as when, you know, the hundreds of figures followed, I really wanted to make him, but, you know, I saw a lot of other customizers really struggling with his mask. Uh, so that was really a sticking point for me, you know, I wasn't going to make one with a crap mask, so I just decided to wait. And... Uh, late last year sometime, uh, my good friend Sander actually sculpted this uh, Kylo Ren helmet, which was then casted by Andrew VXTC, and I got it, and I obviously wasn't really customizing at that point, but then earlier this year, you know, the Star Wars fever hit me again, um, and I decided to, to finally make my own Kylo Ren. So basically, this is the helmet, or the mask, is sculpted by Sander, casted by Andrew VXTC, uh, then I did add some custom G-Bricks gloves, and then the rest of the elements are all done by me. I, I, I decided to keep the legs, you know, very simple, very much uh, Lego, so there's actually no sculpting there. Uh, just a bit of E-tape and some, you know, dirt paint to show his, you know, dusty boots. Uh, same for the gloves, you know, those were painted up to be dirty. Then uh, the lightsaber was made with uh, hot glue for the blade itself to get that, like, unstable lightsaber effect uh, as well as styrene for the rest of it and some I think it's brass tubing uh, so that was actually really fun to make because Kylo Ren's lightsaber with the cross guard is very unique uh, then just the belt section in on his midsection uh, that was uh, just a strip of e-tape as well as the belt the buckle or whatever it is in the middle of that was custom sculpted but then the rest of his outfit is actually all fabric. Uh, excuse the messy back there. Uh, this is the first time I'm really using fabric, so I'm only learning how to stitch now. But it was really fun to work with that because it gave me the opportunity to make him a very mo poseable figure as well as, you know, be able to remove everything. So his hood can actually come down, which is really cool. Um, I actually think my favorite look for the character is obviously with his hood up. Uh, but yeah, I do like the hood down look, you know, it does give additional playability, posability options. Then the hood itself, as well as his cape or shawl or whatever you want to call that, is also removable. Um, so let me just do that. Oh. Ah, there you go. That sort of gives him the appearance that he has, uh, you know, on board the Death, well, not Death Star, Starkiller Base or anywhere else, you know, where he's just in his tunic and he's got his helmet on, sort of around the time when he's interrogating Ray. But, yeah, the actual tunic itself is also completely removable, but there's nothing under there. It's just a plain Lego body. Uh, the arms were done with this sort of like, it's almost like an elastic nylon, I don't know, it's, it's sort of like a hair tie, but it's not, I bought it at a, uh, a fabric shop, and that was just glued on in layers to give the ribbed fabric effect that his sleeves have. And then those arms were ball jointed using the technique that I've shown you guys in my tutorial, just to get like, you know, some of the posability options like you have here. You know, so that you can get that pose that he has, especially the pose... Uh, where he stops that plasma bolt that uh, Poe shoots at him in the opening sequence of the movie. So I really hope you guys have enjoyed the showcase. I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing you know some of the details in these figures. If you have enjoyed it, please leave a like. Uh, yeah, leave a comment as well if there's something you you want to like share with me about it. You know, if you enjoyed a specific figure the most. Personally, my favorite is this Kylo Ren figure. I like all the the costume options, as well as just how he turned out overall. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week.